it's Mincy, and today we're going to be going over the Black Morass Paladin Farm. Now, this is just going to be some weak ores that I use. Um, uh, you do make about 180 to 220k per hour XP from 68 to 70. Also can be a 220 gold per hour farm. Now, I would recommend 100% using Snudden's Paladin Buff Watcher. The Tank It in Weak Aura just can kind of help. Um, with your mitigation and stuff, but the Snuddens will actually give you your shield time left. Now, I really don't have great sh um, armor, gear. I'm using a little bit of pre-raid bis. Um, I keep my defense to 470 at the minimum. Um, I will have a spec on the screen. This is the spec that I recommend you use. Um, you could go ahead and pause the video, obviously. I will have timestamps for this as well. But these are the talents that I use for when I leveled. I currently use a prot spec. And like I said earlier, the 470 is so you don't get knocked off of the mount. You don't get dismounted. That is the knockoff cap, if you will. So generally you start up, you take the first mob that you see, and you kind of just want to avoid them. You want to like body pull these guys you beyond want to be careful about the spiders as well because they can hit you with a poison dot and that can tick quite a bit it is a bit of a gauntlet you'll see me jump and twist to the, twist to the side that really isn't necessary just kind of gather them and get out of the way um what i generally do is i try to go to the right go down a little bit almost take like a right angle go to the right and then come around and gather up through the right and then just start going to the left. But here's some consumables that I used while leveling. The MP5 Mage Blood, the Adept's Elixir for spell power boost, the Poach Bluefish for spell power, and I also used a Fell Blossom. Now there's two other things I used. I used the Super Mana Potions. On my server, they're not too expensive, but at the same time, I am a Herbalist and a Potions Master. So I'm getting Potion Master procs, and that is super, super useful for someone like me who's herbalist and alchemy, who can take advantage of their actual professions. And I also do use the wizard oil that gives 42 spell power increase as well. So you'll see right here, I have 490 holy damage. That's without the sanctity aura. So if you did have sanctity aura, this would bump up your consecrate numbers. And right now I'm just kind of continuing doing what I was saying earlier. I take the left side. Well, technically it's left on the map for you guys, but it's right when you actually do the pull. So when you're actually going through, I go down to the right and then I come back up and I go through where I was to the left, right down the middle again, kind of, and just kind of gather them all up. You'll see them start to gather to the left of me. And that's what the mob kind of looks like. I let them gather up real, real nice. You don't have to. Because you will be shielding right into the beginning of the kill phase. Now, I do have low health. I pop my shield on because I use my one shield for defense. This is the Crystal Pulse shield. It's got a little bit of spell power to it. The other shield does not. The shield from Shadow Labs. I shouldn't even have put that conk down. They completely avoided it. But I put a conk. I shield. So I can get two. And then I have a trinket that increases my spell power by a little bit as well. Which, you know, might be something to look into if you're lacking a little spell power you always want to use your weak aura to check your buffs as you can see i still haven't put up my wisdom there's my wisdom now my weak aura is gone obviously i have holy shield up because this is my uh prop paladin and i use the prop shield now that is an issue that i've had going down that side you can get stuck in that little corner and you will die also you just see i cleansed that poison can tick for 190 every three seconds i believe but it ticks for like 13 seconds and they stack as well it might actually tick for less um time but i know it ticks for a hot minute because i've definitely died to poisons before trust me there is a live stream of me failing this for like six hours straight because i didn't understand the strats i was doing it on twitch which my twitch is mincy ttv and then i also do it on the youtube channel that i have so once you get them to a certain percent, they like to split. This is where I hit that fell blossom. This is where the fell blossom came in handy. And generally speaking, I get lucky here 
because of that fell blossom if i would have been slowed here that could have been a real issue now they will go up inside the mountain well not inside the mountain upside the mountain how about that so i kind of curve into the right a little bit and then back out to the left to get them to go through that conk i will do this circle a few times as you can see i just hit the second mana potion there probably could have got away with not using it and let my mana regen kind of take over but when you get up to the stairs every time what you would want to do is you max rank because they're going to go through it twice right then you will lower rank down to a one or a four based on your mana um, and your spell power that's what you will be using i did pop a shield here because they actually go up the mountain and I did see that, and sometimes they can come up and sneak you. And a slow is all you need to mess this pull up. One slow, it's game over. But I thought about going through that rock right there. I thought it wouldn't be a good, wouldn't be a good idea because there they are right on my tail right now. And I just keep kind of kiting up and doing, um, I believe I'm using max ranks here. Yes, I am. I am using max ranks. Just to kind of burn them down. Like I said, I have 310 uh, holy damage here. That's not a lot. Now, I did say earlier that you will keep up Righteous Defense. I should have, at least. If I did not, yell at me in the comments. But Righteous Defense, no matter what spec you're using, a prot spec or the spec I showed you on screen, reduces the damage you get taken. And that's pretty big if you have an uh-oh moment or a oh shit moment, as I like to call them. They happen a lot more than you actually think. Um, this is probably the last circle or last turnaround I do for the actual pull itself. I kind of do a little dancey dance right there, as you saw, so I can get them going through the conk. I take a wide turn. Actually, this is definitely not the kill. I go for one more circle. Um, but it's really straightforward. Generally, you want to put your conk right there because they will go up this mountain, like I said earlier. You won't want to be using max ranks while taking these big corners. For the sole reason that they like to skip that, as you saw. So there's no purpose of putting down a max rank consecration if they're not actually going to go through it. And I feel like it's a little bit situational based and mana based. I guess if you have the mana, go ahead and burn them down a little faster. But generally, I'm getting these kills done, even in prospect, at about... I want to say 13 to 14 minutes so that's roughly three runs an hour now like i said earlier what we want from this place is nether web silk which on my server it's selling roughly anywhere from three gold to four gold it's kind of a volatile market but at the same time if you save it for a day you can play it raid days you might have a little bit more luck or a day before raid day because people are trying to grind their pieces out before raid and that's the kill right there finished so I will show you what I got from just this one run. I got 15 gold in venerable trash. I got about 10 gold worth of greens. There is some good recipes out of here, jewel crafting as well. Now I will show you that I have actually sold the nether web, nether we nether web spider silk for four gold. And thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comments. If you like the video, go ahead and subscribe. And until next time, take it easy.